Hello everybody, welcome back to this wonderful Wednesday evening. I'm Theo, known as the Holy One. I'm joined by Gabriel today. And today we have Valorant St. Clair Saints taking on University of St. Thomas. It's going to be an interesting game. It's the first game of the season. Most definitely first game of the season, as you said. So stakes aren't high. This is kind of just a match to get back into the flow for everybody. The people who haven't played in a while, the people who have played a little too much in a while, um, and even me just getting back into Valorant. Uh, I've played like two games coming back uh, from a summer of not playing at all. Uh, and then again, I'm not a big Valorant player, but I need to kind of learn the game <laughs> and get back into the groove of it. What about you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I used to play Valorant a lot, but now playing a bit more Overwatch, uh, Valorant's the second thought. So, you know, I know a good deal about the game cast a lot last semester. And, you know, our Saints last season were absolutely unstoppable. They were just For sure. winning everything, national championship, a couple extra championships there that I probably forgot about, but they will look to get back to their winning ways today. What do you think is going to be the key to the victory today? Uh, key to the victory is probably just going to be getting a handle on the new metas and what's going to be going on, right? Because one of the biggest changes is that you're coming back from the summer, so nobody's really comfortable. I mean, we, you haven't played with the boys in a while, so throwing it to that, it's going to be pretty hard. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be interesting what our Saints can put together here. And, you know, uh, I heard we're going to be getting an interview soon, so uh, speaking of new players, we're going to bring one in here. So let's talk to him. Let's see what it's all about. Introduce yourself, please, to the Saints family. Yeah, um, I'm Jace Parks, otherwise known as Truth. And Valorant. And uh, I'm on the Valorant team here for uh, St. Clair. Yeah, it's your first semester here. You're a new player. Um, expectations are high, obviously, with the Saints. How do you feel going into the season? I feel great about it. Super confident in myself, super confident in my team. Uh, looking forward to what we can put out there. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's a it's a brand new season of Valorant. Is there any sort of like uh, medals that you guys have been practicing for, especially with scrims now, new team, definitely new strategies. What has been like uh, the meta like right now in Valorant? Um, for the most part, our team's been pretty dynamic. We have Brazzo as our IGL, and he's been in a lot of circumstances with a lot of different teams. He's got a good brain for the game. So for the most part, we've tried everything out, and we've found like a nice middle ground where we feel comfortable. Uh, a lot of different comps on a lot of different maps, so I don't think I could give one yeah. direct answer. Absolutely. You got any questions? I mean, that's really good. Being adaptable is always nice to have. It means that you can adapt to your opponent, which speaking of, your opponent is probably going to be playing something. So what right now would you say is in the meta and what will be like screaming to you are the key picks for these matches? For the most part, uh, Silva is always a great pick. Uh, we're going into that almost every single map. I uh, feel confident on that agent on most maps. Yeah. So, well, all right, so getting that recon, getting that information yeah. down, getting the arrows in, maybe while banging somebody would be nice with yeah. the alts. All righty. Well, I'm going to be really excited to see the Sova uh, come out when he can. What maps are, do you guys scrim on the most? Um, right now, we've been focusing pretty heavily on Ascent and uh, Sunset. So, Ascent and Sunset. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, what maps are you the most scared of? Um... Ascent can be a 50-50 map at okay. times. I think we're really solid on it, though, so I think we like push past those like odds. But for the most part, we feel really confident on that. I feel confident on that. But, yeah. All righty, and one last question here. Uh, what do you think is going to be like the... Um the, the make or break, like, is it going to be your comms? Is it going to be, um, you know, positioning? Like, what, what, it, what would you say is the weak link for the team? And what would you say is going to make it a lot easier if that one thing just goes right? So I'm going to say our, our big strong suit is Brazzo without question. Having a great IGL, a good leader is huge to winning. Um, but then alongside of that, our weakest link is probably our player Fair. He's a little bit newer into the game. Okay, okay. But at the same time, he's got incredible mechanical skill, has incredible potential, and I see him growing as a great player as the season continues. All righty, sounds good. So we're going to be keeping an eye out on those things, watching for the plays, watching to see yeah. how those uh, play out, see how you guys perform. And then, uh, I mean, hopefully you guys give us a really good performance. We're really excited to see it. For sure. Yeah, especially for, like, you're going to see some clips on him. I know I said some things, but you're going to see some clips from him. We're going to awesome. see some clips. Okay, oh, yeah. well, I'm, I'm excited to see them. Yeah.
Yeah, well, thank you for joining us up here on the desk. You can uh, head out, Gary, for that game. Show us a performance. It was a pleasure to have you. Welcome to the Saints family, and hopefully you can put on a show for us today. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. I'll take put on care. The show for you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It's a new player, Jace. You're going to see him on stage for the first time today, so should be awesome. Uh, that was a great interview. Seems like they're very confident going to the season. Most what did you get from that? I mean, considering that they're saying that their weakest link is really good. I mean, in my eyes, that's saying this team is pretty strong. And the fact that the first thing he did, he said wasn't comms means that these guys are on the same wavelength, right? Because usually when you ask a team, okay, what's your weakest link? The answer is like nine times out of 10 going to be, yeah, our comms are horrible. Because these guys are just starting up together, right? They've played like, what, they've been here for like three weeks total, barely. So they just play for three weeks. You don't have that, like, because, like, we see it at the end of the season, right? There are points where you just see two players, and they don't even talk, and they already know what's going on. Like, these guys could stand in complete silence and then absolutely dominate because they're just, they're one brain, right? They're functioning together as a unit. Um, but to get to that point, you need comms, right? And comms are one of the hardest things to, to build up. So when you're saying, yeah, one of our players is the weakest link, you're looking at one of the a very very strong team yeah absolutely i mean they were strong last year they did lose some of the veterans but rookies come in and they're going to learn fast under the few vets we, we do have left over uh you know we're going to be getting into game probably relatively soon um from what you know so far would you get a score prediction for this match okay score prediction for this match so a hundred percent one map is going to be lost um i'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm thinking, like, we're probably going to see some really close matches starting off, right? Because, again, first match, like, everybody's just kind of on edge. Okay, who are these guys? Do they have rookies? Do they have old guys? Okay, the old guys, we know how they play. But now the rookies completely change their play styles. So it's going to be completely different. We don't know what they're doing, right? So from that standpoint, you kind of don't know what's going on. You need to get a feel for the enemy team. And the best way to get a feel for the enemy team is to die. Because every time you die you learn, right? Making mistakes is how you learn. Uh, it's how human works. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have to make those mistakes to then be able to say, okay, now we know how they play, we're going to counter it. And it's going to be a, a game of adaptability. And they were talking about it during the uh, interview. So adapting is something they said they were really good at doing. So I'm really excited to see that. So score prediction, I'm going to say it's probably going to go 1-1. One, one, and then I don't know who's going to take the extra. But there's going to definitely – both schools are going to take a map. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. I mean, uh, that's, a, that's a good prediction. It is, the, it is the Super League. So every team is absolutely insane. But we are getting right into game one. Let's see what map we have underway. It's going to be Lotus. Lotus. University Ooh. of St. Thomas are going to be defending first. St. Clair College going to be attacking first. And, uh, this first is a map. practice map for the Saints. Yeah. Right? Uh, so we're going to be seeing the picks here. Going to start coming out. There's a raise coming out. Uh, Omen, Cypher, Brimstone, I believe, and then... Fade. Fade, yes. Thank you. Seeing Being hovered right now on the side of uh, the University of St. Thomas. The Saints not locking anything in, but hovering the raise, the fade, the Viper, and the Omen, with the KJ being hovered too. So here we have a lineup, but not seeing the Sova yet, which is interesting. Uh, we were talking about that one very recently. So we're seeing uh, some good lockdown with the Viper, right? Uh, it's always nice to see good team compositions. I was doing uh, the high school leagues uh, and it was funny because you would just see it's an entire team of attackers just people that always go in and it's like okay cool but like where's your intel you don't have a cipher you don't have anybody to gather that information for you to get kills it it was funny because there were a lot more kills right uh, but seeing um, more organized team composition is really nice to see right now so here the Saints starting to lock in their picks uh, so the Viper the Omen uh, and the Razor locked in. The KJ and the, uh, that's, oh boy. Fade. The Fade, thank you. I was about to say Sky for some reason. It's like, no, wrong color palette. Sky's green. Um, but yeah, so very, very close comps here. The only main difference is the Viper and the Brimstone. It's, no, that's not Brimstone. That's, uh, that's the other guy. That's Breach, thank you. They're both bees and they both have big beards. It's, uh, it's, I agree. it's hard to tell the difference. I agree. Um, but yeah. So here, getting into game, pistol round. 
I mean, pretty standard. Uh, we're kind of gonna see what's going to be picked up here, what the strategy is. This is kind of just the poker prod. Uh, we don't really care too much where this one goes, but it does help with the economy if you win it. Uh, we all like making money. So I mean, yeah, pistol round, probably one of the more important rounds, especially if you can uh, string a few rounds together, get a save save round, and then take the 3-0 lead on the eco. That's a great start. That's what the Saints look for. But last year, kind of their weak point was definitely their pistol rounds. They, oh, yeah. They there would lose a the pistol round, and then, and then they would just win the rest of the map. But yep. it's not a good start. So let's see. Maybe New Year, New Them. It's going to be split push. Looks like it's coming out four people on A. Kai is going to take a bit of damage here. Up on a C, a couple of members there are saying it's gonna slowly walk up this eight side. Smokes come out, still pushing pretty strong. Only two defenders from University of St. Thomas over here. Fair already in tree. We'll throw out the concussion mine, but will get stunned up. Does get taken down. That's the first blood going up to University of St. Thomas. And it's how he finds another one onto Kayo. Two down now for the Saints, but they are deep in the side. Zowie though, all alone, killing three, all on their lonesome. That's last person alive now. Instinct in the 1v5. Go down. It's a flawless round to start the game for University of St. Thomas. Wow, okay, that was clean. Can I just bring you back to that um, concussion plus smoke? They walk out of the smoke, and the first thing they see is their screen going concussed, and then a bullet through their brain. That is the cleanest, like, just team up and execute that person I have ever seen. Like, it, 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 what was the reaction time? Did you have any time to react? No, you just died. Have fun. So that is absolutely beautiful playing. Yeah, and I can see they have the weapon advantage. They're going to look to peak early this time. Saints only having those pistols. It's going to be very hard for them to win at this round. A kill or two could be crucial. Zawi buying that Vandal after the first round. Well deserved with that three kills. Definitely helped his team win that one there. Truth gonna walk up mid here. Does he know there's a player around the corner? He's gonna go for the swing. There's some shots coming out. I don't know if he knows if Glyph is here. Rose finds, uh, Truth, sorry, finds the first pick. Great start for the Saints. Glyph in a bad position here. Gets taken down as well by Truth. That's a couple quick kills for the Saints. They're gonna get a couple weapons and now they really put themselves a chance to win this round. Zing Stink takes down Zowie. Vandal against the Ghost. He doesn't care. Saints have a 5v2. Yep, here having the numbers advantage definitely going to help the Saints out a lot. As, okay, speaking of, University of Thomas loses another. The Saints are really in the lead now. Only the Cypher I left. Planted. Going to make their life, uh, trying to make the life of the Saints a little bit harder, but here pushing through a smoke is, well, never advisable, so gonna wait for that one to drop. Gonna see, hopefully not getting flanked. Gonna try and pick the corner here, and oh, removes one head and gets his own removed. I mean, hey, going one for one, it hurts the economy a little bit, so it's definitely worth it there. Mainly when you only have a pistol. Yep. Alrighty, speaking of the economy here, uh, the Saints are on pretty much a full buy here. Everybody's full armor and has their weapon of choice. Two Vandals, a Phantom, a Spectre, and a Bulldog, I believe, is that top one. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna make it a lot more uh, simple for the Saints to defend. Or no, they're attackers, whoops. So to attack uh, here, University of St. Thomas going to have to resort to pistols and revolvers to defend themselves, which is not ideal. Caillou is going to find the opening pick onto Glyph. Having that Vandal really does give the Saints an advantage against these weaker weapons of University of St. Thomas. The Saints playing very, very slowly, want to take longer range duos with those weapon advantage. University of St. Thomas are going to four stack on this A site. So Saints are going to slowly find out that the C site is completely clear and post plant. I don't see a way that University of Thomas can bring this round back. Yep, already we are seeing here the Saints going to push through that smoke just as it drops. Going to throw pretty much every ability they have onto the point, just trying to clear it. Let's see if they can get the raise using the grenade just to try and get... Is that a grenade or is that a, a, a timed explosive? I'm not sure. The satchel is a timed explosive. Oh, it's a called the satchel. Okay, that's what it's called. Uh, to get it up on top of that just to try and clear the area. But of course, nobody's there. I think this is just a save round. They're not pushing or anything, the University of St. Thomas. They're just holding. 
I mean, I don't think it's going to be a save round because they don't have much to save. I think they're going to go in there and try and get a few picks. I think they're just waiting for Saints to get a bit impatient. It looks like Saints are going to do so pushing into the spawn here, but they're pushing as a whole team. Everyone's <laughs> walking up slowly. Cypher's going to be in for one. Fair. Treat around this corner. The swing's going to come through. <laughs> Will he be able to kill anyone? He oh! finds two. Oh! Wow, blinded. Insane shots there from Cluey as tr Truth goes down as well. Three members now dropping for the Saints. The round will still be won, but that's a huge dent in their economy from the Saib University of St. Thomas. They're all going to die on purpose, so their economy is very, very good. And now it's going to be uh, still full buy for both teams, I think, but Saints, a big dent in that economy. Okay, am I crazy, or did that share... Does the sheriff have enough pen to go through two people? No. No? Okay. So that was a double headshot, just period. Yeah. Wow, that was clean. I th Honestly, the way that that showed up on the kill feed, I thought that was a collateral. That was just one, two, instantly. Wow, okay, absolutely terrific shooting. Getting one kill and going one for one was already pretty good considering you're outgunned, but going two for two, holy smokes. Impressive. All right, let's see here. How are the Saints going to play this one out? Viper Wall going to come up, kind of block that vision, going to drop down immediately. Down. Ball banging there a lot, but not going to find anything. As Ooh. Ooh, Omen kills Omen. Headshot. Uh, going to make a dent in the Saints' numbers, giving St. Thomas the numbers advantage. Let's see how this plays out for them. Yeah, Jawi with a nice first pick there has been so good on this Omen so early into this game. He's going to be on Glyph now. Might get pushed by a couple Still members of the Saints. Definitely saw the head there, so he's going to let his team know there's a couple members here. Has the raise to back him up. Shots are going to be going down. There's the raise. Nate, the stun comes out from the breach, but nothing will be found. Just a little bit of damage. Chilling all on his loathsome here on this C side. Can he find a pick? All the Saints are rotating over here quickly. This Omen is very, very far up. Can they spot him out around this corner? It looks like they're going to be pushing him pretty quickly, but Saints need to be careful. A lot of members from University of St. Thomas here. Let's see how they decide to play this one. They're going to walk in. There's a pick by Kluwi. Caillou finds one. Truth finds a trade as well. Saints 3v2 scenario, 2 HP. For true, they will stay alive. So crucial. The grenade is beautiful from the breach. We'll stop the plan for just a second. A couple members spotted there from Chillen. Has to be careful around this corner. The fade could look to push through. Wall bangs are coming through, but they're not be able to hit him. Truth on 1 HP will find the shot, but will go down. Glyph finds it now. 3v2 for Saiyan University of St. Thomas. Going to push this one in Chillen around this corner. Finds one. Trade comes through from the Rays. A nice flick there from the knows This University of St. Thomas tied up at two apiece. All right. Two apiece isn't too bad. That, honestly, this is kind of what I was talking about. One takes one, the other takes one. But I, they're feeling each other out. They're saying, okay, so this is how you play, this is how I play. Now, how do I adapt to your play and outplay you by playing my play? And now I've said play so many times that I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alrighty, full bag on the Saints of the Saints. Full vandals, full armor. You love to see it. Economy is a looking swell on the side of the University of St. Thomas. I think we're seeing pretty much a full buy. Only thing I'm kind of seeing there. lacking is that armor. Um, I mean, you know what? It happens sometimes. Can't always have enough money. Yeah, both raises playing so tight. Ooh. And pick from Fair comes out blindly. They know finds a trade. Chillin does take him out though. Now Saints 4v3 advantage. Cypher gonna be rotating over. White Paws gonna be put up and it looks like Saints might choose to rotate here. You can see University of St. Thomas kind of stacked towards the middle there. It looks like a couple members are gonna be going over to C, but looks like Saints might be looking for a B hit here up the middle. Yep, B might be the target of their aggression. But uh, is that going to be the most advice? They only have one person holding down that position, although now that the first shots and the abilities are coming out, there's definitely going to be a rotation here. As we can see, uh, they're kind of converging onto the point. The spike is planted, so they have something to play out with the Viper Ultimate going to hold down the area, going to make it really, really hard to push into that. Being 1 HP is never fun, and it makes it significantly harder when you're dealing with automatic guns because, well, sprays. Stray bullet catches you and you're dead instantly. So here, I think they're just gonna opt to save their guns. They don't seem to be pushing the B point here. They're just gonna say, you know what? You wait, you, you used an ultimate. We're not gonna play that game. We're just gonna walk away and you guys can do your own thing. And we're gonna pass on that round, which you know what? It's pretty good. They have good weaponry. Um, we're gonna want to keep that that way. 
If we don't, then, you know, the funds are going to be lacking. Um, which is kind of something neat. And on, the, on top of that, you can use the money and buy your friend a gun, which I absolutely love. You can't do that in League. I, I wish I could just give my gold to my support sometimes, you know? Like, when they need an extra 100 gold, I'm just sliding it to them so that they can get out of Fountain faster. That'd be nice, but unfortunately, League doesn't work like that. Valorant does. And speaking of, uh, we have a full buy on the side of the Saints, once again. Here. Uh, and the University of St. Thomas going for pretty much a full buy. All I'm seeing is some light armor uh, being purchased instead of full armor. But you know what? Again, sometimes it happens. Alrighty. And the round's gonna kick off both razors yet again. Gonna just swing around here. Fair this time goes around the left side, finds one. Is it gonna stay alive? The teammates are defending him, finds a second pick, chill, and takes down Shawi. And this round is as good as finished. University of St. Thomas in 2v5. It's gonna be just this phase trying to defend all these swings. Finds one, but the trade comes through from Kyle. The plant's gonna go down, and Saints very quickly dismantle the defense of University of St. Thomas. Yep, that was the old one too, uh, as, uh, oh, what's his name? The guy that runs the Krabby Patty thingy. Oh well, whatever. Uh, yeah, the old one too, St. Clair gave him. And uh, now St. Thomas is pretty much stuck here as old. Oh, 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 no gun! How did that happen? Truth wasn't even looking at him. Huh? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Roll back. Truth was looking at the wall. Cypher walks up. And then Truth just turns around and shoots him in the head. That's exactly what happened. And Cypher didn't, like, shoot him? <laughs> no. But why? He had his knife out. Wait, what? Oh, okay, wait, maybe maybe he was saying, like, you know what? Let's go for a knife fight. Definitely not. <laughs> I don't think that was the case in that scenario. But speaking of fair, taking things into his own hands with the ultimate, just takes B on his lonesome. We'll try and fire this one around the corner. Won't find a pick. Saints decide to push off A off that. But it looks like St. Thomas have not over rotated fair in such a crucial position here. Won't be able to find anything as Truth finds one. And fair with a beautiful bait here allows his team to walk through, find a couple. Nice trade there from the breach truth does go down but still saints have a 4v3 they have the amazing guns here chilling with a nice little one tap there onto cliff another nice shot from fares he finds wow. another couple here st Clair college very quickly yet again take this a side and go up 5-2 that what those headshots were absolutely terrific i don't think i've ever seen those that was wall bang i can pixel see your head type wall, like headshots I have pretty bad eyesight when it comes to video games, all right? And I play Tarkov, which is even worse, but me seeing somebody's head before they see mine is a miracle already. Being able to wall bang and predict where that head is by just seeing a pixel of it is a skill I will never be able to achieve. So this is just, I mean, this is basically impossible for me. I don't know how these guys do it. I mean, they are the best of the best. The Saints are, and they're looking to extend their lead on this first map. University of Thames though, showing a, a bit of a resilience, lost the second round, but were able to come back relatively quickly to make it 4-4, four, four, oh, sorry, 2-2. Two, two. Wait, am I seeing an AWP? Maybe there might be an AWP out here. Saints choose to leave the spike in the spawn. They don't really know where they want to go just yet. And with just a minute remaining, they're going to have to make their minds relati up relatively quickly. Looks like they will finally make a bit of a move onto this A side. It is. The Omen and the Rays holding it down. But Saints do have three members walking through that smoke. The Fade ult is going to come out. But they hear instantly the Rays ult and the Breach doing their abilities. Also, the Killjoy comes out from the side of the Saints. And it looks like they're going to make a rotate over to C with this play. Chillin is up so far here on this Viper. Can't get to Side Truth. Just taken down to one HP, but will be able to stay alive. Chillin in a great position here. There is the Fade ult coming out. Nobody spotted. Fair looking to get the opening pick finds it onto Glyph. The plant's coming down. Inkstein's gonna be able to get that one down. It's 4v5. Now for University of St. Thomas, they have to think quickly here in response. Zowie finds a wall bank. Kubi's actually gonna be able to pick that one up. The op shot misses there from the side of the Saints, but University of Thomas have three people coming through. One a choke. Can the Saints hold that one down? They know so scary about the flank. Chewie is gonna find another pick onto Inkstein. The stun comes through. Hits on to Chillin. It's a 2v4. 1v4 now. Chillin finds a couple. One taps. Finds the third. Can he find the fourth? 
turns around, oh. almost gets the swing onto Kluwi, but a nice shot from Kluwi there to find it still. Saints have a member alive, and this spike will not be defused in time. Truth on 8 HP was able to survive, has those ra uh, killjoy things. Will look for the peak, finds it with the shorty, but the defuse won't come through in time. Oh. I don't believe so. He does find the save. Uh, the, the the clutch Saints take the lead 6-2. There's a 4k I believe, if, if my eyes do not deceive me. Uh, but absolutely terrific performance. That's kind of one of the things with the, the spike. Spike is kind of just a coin flip of, okay, well, who peaks first? And am I, pe am I hitting the spike or am I aiming at you? And if you peak when they're hitting the spike, you win. If you peak when they're aiming at you, your skull gets removed. Um... But here, Saints are going to be fortifying these, or uh, pushing these fortified positions by St. Thomas. We're going to see which one they ch They seem to be picking C point here as, oh boy, Omen, going to pick up uh, the brunt of those moves. Okay, lots of abilities coming out actually. They are really dedicated to C point as the first kill come out here. Fair, taking out the Omen. Oh, do they know about the cipher? Do they know about the cipher? This, yes, they do. The homing gonna remove his skull too, and uh, now it is a three v five in the favor of the saints. But yeah, that flank going to be uh, going to result in at least one kill onto Truth. Glyph saying no, not happening. Going to put a stop to that as all the kills come out and the saints win again. Beautiful. Saints on a bit of a hot streak here now. Five in a row as they take the 7-2 lead. And University of Thomas can seem to slow them down. Saints just taking that seaside with such ease round after round. It, it will be finally a fall by for University of St. Thomas. So they will have a little bit to fight back with. Uh, the, the ultimates are there as well. Breach has that ultimate. So does Cypher. Saints have the Viper ultimate yet again and have the Omen ultimate if they want to look for a flank. So I think if Saints can lock down this A site quickly, the Viper ult will come out for sure. But let's see if they can get it done. Yep, having full, two full full buys is really nice to see here. Uh, but can they actually capitalize on those full buys is the question here. As the Viper wall comes down, everything comes to a standstill. Everybody wants to see where everybody is. Oh, hold Good on, shot. the breach here coming out. One kill comes out. Bear going down. Raze takes out the Caillou, and then Shilling goes down too. Okay, hold on. The Saints are not having a good time. All that's left is the KJ. Can they make this work? They're going to sure. try. They're going to try 2v5, though. It's going to be very, very hard for the Saints to bring themselves back into this round. And you can see they're not even trying to push. They're just trying to get a couple frags here to uh, shut down the economy of the University of Thomas for the next round. And uh, I think we might see, see them stay here for quite a while. But it looks like finally they are going to look for the swing. This one rock is protecting so many heads. It looks like Truth finally will look to go around the corner. The breach is there ready with the stun. So this could be tragic for the Saints. But Omen's on the flank. Finds Whoa! one. It's a nice shot from Truth. He will go down as it's just the Omen now in B site. Chewie is there to greet him with a barrel. Let's see if Instinct has any idea that there could be one here. Looks like he does. Will throw out the smoke, but doesn't know there's one around the corner. Chewie picks that one up. Third round goes over to University of St. Thomas. Yeah, the one thing that sucks when you're alone is you have to sweep every corner when you peek. And sweeping your sectors is so tedious and is so nerve-wracking because as you're coming in, you come into a room and he could be six different places. And you need to sweep all those places faster than your opponent needs to just shoot you in the head. It is annoying because odds are you're not going to see him in time. But hey, if you do, you get lucky. Absolutely. The push here coming out onto this A side again. The Saints were, had some success there, but last time we're shut down here. Instinct ulted all the way back here. This will give the Saints so much room to work with. They're going to walk up to this A side and will have the numbers advantage. Bear just going to fly in there. Doesn't find the kill with the raise ultimate. They know nice little swing there. Finds the opening pig glyph. Finds one out to Instinct. The Saints are not 
having a good time here. Zao is going to find the pick on to Truth, and now it's in a 2v5 scenario yet again. It's going to be hard for the Saints to find anything. Chillin falls down. Caillou, they know exactly where he is. He has the spike, but that's about it. He will look for a pick here onto the Omen, finds it. Can he find a second? No. They know his picks that went up. Yet another quick round to University of St. Thomas. All right, so what we saw happening was you had the first few rounds where nobody really had a handle on each other. Then the Saints picked up on what St. Thomas was doing. They said, okay, we need, we, we can adapt to this. So the Saints went up a few. And now St. Thomas is saying, okay, now we know how these guys are playing, so we're going to adapt to their adaptation. And now they're starting to pick up some lead, right? So now, now, now it's a question to see who's going to adapt again, right? Who can overcome what their opponent has decided to do to counter their strategy? Pretty much a full buy here. The Saints on the back end of the economy, though, with two uh, light armors having to be picked up instead of full. Let's see how this plays out for them. Yeah, it's going to be a quick push from they know they can find the pick with the raise ultimate. Very nice kill there on to fair. A quick pick in the final round of the half. So you got to use everything you have in this round. You'll see St. Thomas doing that so, so well with the opening frag there. Let's see how the Saints decide to play this. I believe they still have that Viper ultimate as the truth. Almost found a pick for them there. They have that Viper ultimate still. If they can get onto a side and get that down, that would be more than ideal for the Saints. But University of St. Thomas are not budging. Yep. So let's see. How does St. Thomas play this? Are they just going to hold, or are the Saints going to pick something to do here? Raze is looking at a pretty nasty peak, and indeed, Caillou is going to find the head. Spike. Going to allow... Oh, wait, hold on. Spike has dropped. Oh, Fade Ultimate coming out. But going to clear out the C point, but there's nobody there, so it's kind of just in the middle of nowhere, as here, Chillin How's takes he here? a lift. He has Viper ult here, but he will go down. And the Saints tried to bait University of St. Thomas to go into that C site. And University of St. Thomas did a beautiful job just holding their ground. Did not rotate over towards that C site. But now they're rotating over towards mid. That's a nice smoke there from the Omen. Can they look for a quick plant here? Omen's going to try and get that one down. The nade goes out. Instinct's forced to move. The swing here from Cluey is there. Truth falls down. Cluey finds yet another one. And now it's Instinct in a 1v3. It's going to be nearly impossible to win this one finds the swing, runs out of ammo, does oh, get taken no. down, and the first half ends at 7-5 to St. Clair College. Yep. Nothing more terrifying than when you hear your gun go click. That sound will forever haunt me. Because every time it happens, I know, well, this is where I die. But hey, that's just shooters. Alrighty. Let's see here. Pistol round once again. The Saints. The Saints won last. Lost. Round. They lost. They lost. Yeah, they lost. Yeah, they lost. Of course they lost. <laughs> it's their habit. Anyways, hopefully they'll win this one. Um, but let's see how it plays out here. Phantoms being picked up. Uh, everybody else going to stick with the classics. Um, hmm. What do you think the Saints are going to decide to do here since they're on uh, the defense? Play some defense, and their setup is going to be three on A. They're predicting that. Oh, what a pick! Why? You want to show through that smoke? Finds the opening headshot. You still St. Thomas did five stacks this A side, but Saints had three of their own. Chillin has to be careful around this corner. A couple of members watching that one, but it's a good start for the Saints to get the opening pick. How did he. S he didn't see him through the smoke, did he? Oh, one. Not gonna find another though. All right, Saints here in a 3v3. Gonna see if they can handle anything. Ray's almost getting peaked there. Gonna drop the Roomba though. Gonna try and find somebody. Gets flashed, doesn't do anything though. Chillin' picking up a 2k. Gonna try and do something. Fair going to get another one and the Saints are going down very, very quickly here. Uh, wait, no, it's not the Saints. Saints aren't blue anymore, they're red. Uh, wait, are they? Oh my god, my brain is so slow. Saints are blue right now. Yeah, okay, so the Saints did win that one. Wait, Saints won pistol round! Oh my god, it's a miracle! Yeah. I am very slow today. <laughs> That's okay, <laughs> they do take the pistol round. It's a great start to the second half. A great job by the Rays. Fair did so much just by staying alive in that position, chilling, just able to swing off of that pressure. Found a couple easy shots, and then 3 1 scenario very hard to win that one for University of St. Thomas. Now Saints have the guns, they have the long sight lines that they can hold. And the University of St. Thomas is going to go for a default here and just hoping the Saints make an aggressive, aggressive mistake. Yep, very, very uh, generous spray going down that angle. 
Just gonna see if they can pick up some hit markers. Well, you can't really, you don't have hit markers in this game. But some damage uh, or some poke, as we would call it in League. Uh, but not gonna point. find anybody. Luckily, it's just a bunch of smoke. Let's see here, Cornelius with the spike. Gonna see what they can do. Pushing that A point. Raise here, covering their flanks along with the Omen. Get some smokes down. Wait, that's the, 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 the Taz. It's not, it's not called the Taz, it's called the Outlaw. There we go. I'm thinking too much Tarkov. But yeah, the Outlaw, new weapon. Pretty comfortable, honestly. It's It, it, it feels pretty good. It one shots to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the dome. And what else does it one shot do? To the body. Yeah, to the body without armor, right? 30 seconds yeah. left. Yeah, so it, it, like, it's just an all around really good, like, Budget blaster. You know, you're not paying too much, but it's basically a budget off. Yeah, no, it's it's a good weapon, especially for rounds like these where many players just won't buy too much armor. The swing comes through, chill, and finds one. Oh my goodness, oh. good like finds second, finds the third! Wild West shoot out here for chill, and can he find the fourth? Yes, he Holy does. The smokes. ace was on the cards, but Truth picks that one up. Beautiful round from Chill and four kills with the pistol. Chose to save that round. Now he's going to be buying some heavy artillery as Saints take a 9 5 lead. I think he knows Aim's Lab is free. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, beautiful 4K there. I, uh, wow, that was just lock on skull, press on button. And that, that's kind of what the, 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 oh my god. Not the 5 7, that's CSGO. Uh, th that's CS2. Um, it's the ghost, right? The ghost is the suppressor. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ghost is just a really good head tapper and those mid uh, and those kind of intermediate between full live pistol rounds. Um, but here, let's see what is purchased. Gonna swing around that corner, sweep the sectors. Nobody there knows which one is the next one. They're probably gonna be behind that. Probably the idea the going through their head. The spike is picked up though. Okay, let's see. Is C, okay, C seems to be the uh, point of their aggression right now. Can they capitalize on? Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe rotating for the A? I have retrieved the spike. Maybe not, okay, we're not sure. Out of okay, let's see. We're just gonna stay in spawn. It's fine, guys. If we stay in spawn, nothing can happen. Okay, now it's C, now it's C. 100% C. They got 45 seconds left, so they got to pick pick one. Absolutely. They should pull the trigger <laughs> onto this seaside. Going anywhere else would be a bit interesting, but Fade is all the way on A, and looks like they will be rotating over. This is a fake push with two people. The spike is on its way to A. Saints fully rotated over to C, so this is St. Thomas. A great, great a macro and game awareness here. They will get a free plant onto A, and it's going to be a five-on-five five retake attempt from the Saints. Wow. Okay. This is some mind games that I would not be able to do with myself. Holy smokes. Spike. I thought it was going C. I didn't think they had the time to rotate to A. I mean, to be fair, it's not that big of a map, but like still. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess we're planting on A now. So, Spike is planted A. Let's see how they play this out. The Saints are going to be having a little bit of a hard time because now they're the attackers, technically. Um trying to kind of get onto that point here. Chillin' chillin' on 5 HP and not looking good as Glyph takes out Fair. The Truth gonna take the take back here. Um, take that and oh my god, Caillou with the collateral. Absolutely beautiful. Chillin' picking up another. Cornelius going to take out the time. Omen and Caillou going to take out Cornelius. Defenders do end up winning that one, absolutely. Beautiful for the no Saints. Charges. I mean, they used every second perfectly. One second left, they're on that diffuser. So it was very, very close to that spike exploding, but that collat definitely <laughs> won them the round. Two quick kills with one bullet is definitely what we like to see. And now Saints are have a very dominant lead here. 10-5, they have the eco advantage and they have a lot more economy on top of that if things go south here. And University of St. Thomas can just afford some sheriffs. So it's gonna be a hard run for them to win. I think another default might be coming, but Looks like they might just five stack A. Yeah, uh, that clap was so holy smokes. Anyways, uh, here all the utility coming out already, just walking out the door as the Saints are all in one oh. spot. The concussion going to lead. Uh, bleh, words are.
Razor Heart going to allow Glyph to get the first kill. Chillin' going to take out that raise, going to make it a 4v4 here. Uh, health is favored on the side of the Saints, but that's not saying much as Chillin' gonna take out Glyph. Cornelius taken out by Caillou. One enemy remaining. Thanks, Bluey. Bluey gonna take out Caillou. By... Oh my god, I can't talk today. And Truth going to take out the final two here. Um, words are hard, but I think I, I transmitted the, 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 <laughs> the words pretty well um as here we're gonna have a full buy on almost both sides sparrow is sparrow really gonna stick with the classic nah he's probably gonna Sparrow's probably gonna buy something right most likely i i'd assume so i don't think a classic is the weapon of choice you'd want to be bringing i mean it into... is a classic but i wouldn't yeah okay walls are down and they're running the classic Alrighty. well let's see how that one plays out um as here the Roomba gets shot out immediately. Everybody swinging everywhere. Fair goes down, Instinct goes down. Bullets are still being fired as they walk through the Viper wall. Caillou gonna take out Glyph. Th I know exactly. Thanos? Thanos. All right, Thanos is going to take out Caillou. Uh, Truth going to take care of the Thanos. Uh, oh, oh my so. god. Oh my god, look at the shots from Truth. 1v3 swinging that shot. <gasps> finds the headshot, finds the wall bang, Truth. 1v4 just retakes sight all by himself on that A side of Saints, put themselves on map point, and when the clutches have been needed, they have found them. What an amazing clutch there coming out from Truth. I mean, Truth is just clean with it. That's just match point. one, two, three, and there's the sight. I mean, sometimes. You just lock in, and I guess that's what happened with Truth. You just, okay, well, I just need to kill three people. Let's just shoot them in the head. Problem solved. Sometimes the simplest, uh, oh, what was the quote? Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best ones. Um, alrighty, let's see. Full buy for the Saints as the University of St. Thomas. Kind of running on a budget here. Light armor, some decent guns, but nothing too impressive. Uh, hopefully they can make these work. Yeah, the push is coming onto that east side yet again from New Zealand. St. Thomas Chillin does fall down, but Fair and Truth gonna get a couple shots back. Down, Truth okay. though in so much trouble there does go down. 3v3 Saints have three flankers coming in, and it looks like University of St. Thomas are gonna decide to punt on this A site, but they are gonna take the spawn of the Saints at high ground. Very, very strong. They do have Breach Ultimate ready if they need it. There is the ultimate coming out from the side of the Saints. The Fatal does not find anything. So I think they know the University of Thomas are sitting up here. The one one peek goes through. Omen gonna throw out that smoke. Nobody's really on the site. Nice swing there from Fair. Gonna be able to find one. Finds a second. Now it's a 1v3 scenario for this uh, breach. He does have that ultimate as stated, but I think he's gonna get pushed pretty quickly here in this corner. Still, the spike is ticking, so they have to get on this one quickly. He does find one, but he gets taken. I don't know. I hear the There's breach the ultimate, and he does go down to Fair. There's gonna be fourth kill of the round. That's going to be the first map going to the Saints as they take it 13 to 5. I think our, our, <laughs> our NDI bugged a little there. It happens. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Saints take the first map. So we kind of saw the flow of that game was pretty intense. It started off with pretty back and forth, right? 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Uh, then once it went 2-2, two, two, the Saints kind of said, okay, you know what? I think we got a good feel for these guys. Okay, we're going to start actually acting on that right once they start acting on it starts making sense these guys saints get some they, they win rounds they win rounds they win rounds then saint thomas is like okay we know what their strategy is we're gonna adapt to it and then okay now saint thomas is starting to win rounds right and then it kind of goes like this and then we switch and then okay saint thomas is still doing pretty okay and then the saints start taking it again and then the saints start dominating again and again and again and then it just it, it just keeps going <laughs> yeah it was a great map from the saints they take it 13-5 a pretty good start to the season and now they're gonna look to keep that energy up in map two um you said that the saints would drop a map so on this next map um should, should go, if uh, I uh, cast her curse if, correctly. If you cast her curse correctly, should be a very, very competitive map at least. But if Saints can uh, run away with it early again, I think that's what they're going to be looking to do in this in the second map. For sure. Um, although, after seeing the performance from the Saints, I would say this one might actually go to the Saints. Uh, just from seeing how they played it, how St. Thomas was playing. Um, St. Thomas is good, 
but their reaction to the Saints' strategies are significantly slower, right? We saw it, like, the Saints got a lot of rounds on them before they started adapting their strategy. So if they allow the Saints to do that again, Saints are going to win. Um, but it can happen where St. Thomas says, okay, you know what? We just got to adapt faster. And if they can actually, you know, just take that into action and do it, maybe they'll take it. Again, it's a question of do I cast a curse correctly or not. I swear it's not a power I have. It just happens sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to be going to that map too very, very shortly. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in no time.
everybody welcome back we are just getting ready to get into game two saints one winning the first map in pretty dominant fashion they're gonna look to continue their winning ways on the second map yes indeed and this map is going to be ascent uh so we're gonna be seeing what they're gonna be picking what they're gonna be playing and how they're going to be playing it as here we can see truth going to be on that kj again caillou on the ko uh instinct on the Omen, chillin', going to be taking out the Sova, we were talking about this one, and Fair seems to be hovering that jet. So, a little bit different from last game, uh, but again, Sova being something that's very practiced. Uh, but on the other side here, uh, we have um, Corneas going with the, that's not Fade, that is, I'll get back to that one, uh, shall we? is on the omen the jet going to be on oh yeah it's a deadlock thank you people at the back you guys are very insightful uh, all right so cornelius on a deadlock omen going to be picked for zowie 
Um, Thanos going to be on the jet, Glyph on that Sova, and Chloe on the Cypher. Alrighty, so, what do we know just looking at this draft? Alright, uh, so, the double Sova, I mean, Sova is pretty decent in this map, to say the least. Uh, so... Really nice to see here. The cipher for that extra intel is going to be interesting to see on the side of St. Thomas. So I, I, I want to see how they play it out. I mean, cipher is more of like a back end intel, right? Like the traps are better for at least when you're an attacker to like cover flanks. Yep. Um, and then when you're on defense, well, you just hold down an entire point by yourself pretty much uh, versus Sova, which is more offensive intel, right? You shoot the arrow in front of you, make sure it doesn't. You're not running into an ambush or anything like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out uh, versus uh, um, kind of that draft for the Saints where they have KO. Although KO is intel-centered, right? Yeah. Alrighty. So let's see how this play they play this out. Yeah, let's see it. It looks like uh, University of St. Thomas are going to be on the attack first this time. Maybe they can get off Over to there. a quick start on the attacking ways. <laughs> They're going to be full pushing on to this A site. It's all Caillou. Here on this side, but now he has a few teammates rotating over. University of St. Thomas playing this one really slowly. Have to check this back corner. They do. Nobody is there. But looks like they're going to choose to rotate away from the A side. As looks like they're going to give the spike over to the Omen. As they're going to stay around on this A side, but still playing this one very slowly. First round. Not going to see too much going on just yet. Yep, here. Ooh, okay, St. Thomas seems to be rotating, going to opt for that B site, but that B site is held down by the KJ, so they're gonna have to, uh. They're gonna have to deal with the KJ first, as here the Saints. The Sova kind of moving, it was playing around mid, now going to move to the B point, kind of get, getting the get, getting the hint that, okay, they're probably all going B. Uh, but there are still three people on A, kind of still being, uh. Being under the impression, never mind, they just saw those abilities fly out. The comms already being set. Everybody from A is rotating as here. The first kill comes out. Truth oh, digging out Joey. Oh, oh, he's so going close. to dig out Truth. And uh, yeah, Cornelius. Oh, hey, okay. even more kills. I was about to calm down, but never mind. The Saints here not looking great. That smoke right in the face is not ideal. Jet trying to push through it, not going to manage. And here, Packers St. Thomas is going to win. Yeah, it's a great start for them again. They win the pistol round now. They're going to look to win this eco round for the Saints. Last time they did fall because of some nice headshots coming out from the Saints. Going to look to replicate that again on the defensive end. But the University of St. Thomas might just take the fight early with the advantages they have. And uh, look to take this round very quickly. Yep. Alrighty. So we have two Bulldogs, a... Guardian, even though that thing always, I, to, in my head, seeing that shape will always be the M1 Grand. Um, but that's just because I played too many World War II shooters. Alrighty, um, let's see, which side is the spike going to be going? Right now it's on the floor between A and the road to mid. So we're not sure where we want to bring it yet, but we're, my, ooh, Soba Joe going to come out here. Going to instantly right get here. shot out. Not much intel was really gathered from that, except that that spike. spot didn't have a lot of people. Um, so they might. Eh, they're juggling the spike a lot, but it's not going anywhere right now. They're just holding that spot. Truth gonna look for that opening pick. Finds a couple body shots, but does not find the last one. Definitely could have had the kill there. Cypher can continue pull, pushing through on 33 HP. Is very low. Has to be careful. That luck gonna throw that one out there onto the side. Does get shot out. Jet flying right in. Glyph does find opening pick onto Chillin. So misses that shot onto Fair. Shots miss from Caillou. And this can be another good round from Mr. Thomas. They take full control of this A site. 5v1. Not a single member dropped as they should be taking this round looking to play for the bonus. Indeed, and now that the spike is planted, the life is hard. The Saints here, uh, this is the practice map, but they're not really having a good time. I don't know if, is, is this map very one-sided? I, I, I'm not familiar with the map myself, but if it's very one-sided, that would make sense. But again, they are also running on budget blasters, so... Uh, that won't help either. All right, location already revealed. Let's hope that doesn't happen too much. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay. Well, you know what? The one for one is worth it. We'll take it. 
uh, that Sheriff definitely takes some heads off. As here, Saint's going to be able to buy something better than a pistol. Uh, is that is that an Odin I'm seeing? That is an Odin. Yep, uh, Odin on the Sova, pretty common uh, to hold down this B side. If you just scan someone with the arrow, you can wall bang them throughout the entire wall on this B side. So that's going to be a great pickup there for the Saints. But you can see they don't have too much uh, money. They don't have any heavy shields. So it's going to be hard for them here to take the early peaks. Kind of have to wait for University of St. Thomas to walk into them. Instinct, though has something to say about that. Might go for a swing out here, swing into like four players. Nobody finds anybody, but a lot of intel for Instinct, which is gonna be crucial for the Saints. Yep, here the Saints going to be playing for that D site, seemingly. So we're gonna send out that dart. Going to see if he can gather any intel. Not going to achieve anything too much. Spike being rotated, one kill instantly by Instinct. Going to take out Klaui, uh, making sure that nothing happens over there. Uh, as the spike is now rotating B. I'm gonna see that wall like hiding everybody. Sova drone gonna try and find anybody. There's somebody around that corner, but does he know? Sova drone instantly shot out. Not much information gathered from that, but they do the know that somebody's there and they heard gunshots. Yeah, I mean, that's all the info they really needed now. They know University of St. Thomas have to walk into this choke and chill and finds one through the wall. Great wall bang. Their instinct yeah. should be able to pick up one more. Finds a couple tags onto the Sova. The Sova's not in the greatest spot right now, but instinct knows. Oh, that's not a good teleport. It's taken down immediately by the deadlock. That's an oopsie daisy. Uh, that's okay, though. Still, a four, a 4v3 for the side of the Saints. They have the health advantage as well. It's going to be an A push coming out, but there are a couple members on that B side waiting for that Sova to walk through. Chill and finds the glyph. Fair is in a great position here. Caillou finds pick on to Jawi, and that should be the round. Fair finds the headshot. Saints can take their first round of the map, and pretty clean job of doing so. Wow. Okay, so hold on. Let me just like play back what Jet just did. On the crate, shoot somebody just a little bit through the door, throws smoke to cover head, drops down, or like dashes, drops down, and then blasts them. Just complete spray down. I, I, I know that technically it's a tactical shooter and therefore doesn't have much mobility, but like there's there's a good amount of the mobility in Valorant compared to some points, yes, right? I mean, okay, that was a very, very wide spray. Holy smokes. Good thing they have big magazines. <laughs> yeah, the Jets get traded one for one early. Jawi has this swing, does not look at the perfect time there instant finds a huge pick onto deadlock saints have a 4v3 it looks like university of st thomas trying to go up through mid into a into this tree area can the saints find the defense Sova drone does come out spots out the ko the swings come through ko looking to throw out his nade there flashbang comes out the smoke comes out as well doesn't find too much this ko now forced to push up caillou finds Good amount of damage, almost finds the kill, but is able to stay alive. So without the flash, beautiful flash and swing. Finds the pick onto Chloe Saints now. 4v2 scenario, the spray comes through from Chill and doesn't find anything through that wall. Instinct finds the Jawi. is 1 HP here for Glyph, is able to stay alive, but with two health points, he might just look to save his weapon here. Yep, saving the weapon's probably gonna be the best idea. Uh, well, in these cases, you say, yeah, okay, left. could I maybe take one out? Yes. Are you going to instantly die afterwards when you're on 2 HP? Most likely. Uh, so saving the gun is definitely better. You know, we're kind of just thinking more about that macro than that micro at that point. Because, uh, you know, having some good macro is kind of important. Um, so, yeah, here, left. I mean, they're just protecting the spike, waiting out the timer. Five, four, three, two, one, and then it's going to be pretty much over and yep that's save round alrighty pretty easy one for uh, the Saints there although it is 2-2 two -two. they're they were doing the same thing they did last time they're feeling each other out they're saying okay this is uh, this is how you play this is how I play let's see how uh, how we can adapt now because this is when it broke up right this is where the Saints just started going hard so we'll see if that happens again I mean, this round is looking good for them, to say the least. They have a huge economical advantage. University of St. Thomas will not afford many full buys. They have a Guardian of Vandal for some hero plays here, but that is about it. No ultimates for either side. Things think close to that one alongside Thanos and Chloe. So, 
round gets underway. Spikes not picked up by anybody for University of St. Thomas. So they look to place one a little bit more passive instinct. But throughout that smoke, I don't think he has any idea. There's a player right next to him. Xiaoyi finds the opening frag. Chillin tries to find the trade, gets some good damage down. But the kill will not come through in St. Thomas with a nice first pick to start the round. That was a hip fire shot too. That was just like... Er, the, not that one, but like the Odin just hit firing through the wall, just hoping that something's gonna hit. A uh, good, good chip damage though. Uh, wasn't wasn't a kill, but it was chip damage here. How he kind of pinned down the Sojourn, gonna try and pick him up. See if he finds anything. Oh, gets hit by the recon bolt. This is gonna make his life a lot harder. But how he doesn't care about that. Going to get the kill, chilling. Trades that one instantly. Gip going to take him out, making that trade a trade of trades. Therefore. St. Thomas is at the advantage with a two-player lead. Yeah, I mean, that was a great play by St. Thomas. None of them showed on the drone around the corner, and then all of a sudden there's four people there. They cannot haul them off. The flash comes through here from Caillou. Looks to find a pick. He's not able to find a killjoy. Forced to shoot that door down. HP here. Caillou does get taken down. Truth, just a Vandal here. Let's see. He goes for the clutch or the save. We'll go up to heaven. Has no idea where anyone is, to be fair. But it looks like a lot of University of Thomas players are saving this. And there is the kill. It comes through. 3-2 for University of St. Thomas. Yep. University of St. Thomas here kind of... Uh, they have a really good feel for this map. Honestly, they, they have a really good control over it. They're playing it really well. Uh, the Saints do have two rounds on them, so it's not completely one-sided. Um, but we are seeing the Saints... I don't like saying, like, getting lucky because there's skills involved, right? Like, it's mostly skill, but, like, they're finding those, like, random picks that just get them ahead. But if they don't find those picks, St. Thomas is on them, right? They're really controlling the area, and they're really holding down the Saints. So the Saints are feeling a lot of pressure here, just by St. Thomas holding up where they are. As here, the wall bank coming through, uh, going to take out Chillin, putting the Saints at a disadvantage. Yeah, Glyph has those shock darts. Can do a lot of damage, doesn't find anything with that. It's just this Killjoy Truth oh, no, exactly looks to find right. the swing, doesn't find anything. Cypherald comes through Omenal. It's going to be there onto the back of the side. And the University of St. Thomas are full head of steam trying to take this site over. The swing comes through fair, finds one tap, gets it out, finds a second. Saints have some life in this round. One pick going to get taken down. Second one, they're just peeking into that Odin a bit too aggressively. It's all up to Instinct 1v3 scenario. And I think University of St. Thomas is going to play it safe and go over to that A side. Guarantee the plant. And that's going to make this round very hard for the Saints to win. Yeah, most definitely here. Saints are probably just better off. I mean, saving. You know, at this point, you think macro again. It's just basic. I mean, you're better off saving unless you're just going pistol. Which, here I'm, but, okay, maybe not going for the pistol. Maybe going for the hero play here. I mean, the hero play is an option. I'm not saying it's not. Oh my. That finishing spray through the door actually got some hit markers, which is pretty neat. Uh, but not much damage, though. Probably would be better to reload before anything happens, because that magazine is very, very empty. But hey, we're going to see how it plays out. And uh, nope, okay. Doesn't matter. Chewie going to instantly take out Instinct. It happens. Yep, and the timeout is going to be called by St. Clair. Um, not a great start for them in the second map, University of St. Thomas. Take an early four to lead Saints. We're able to take that early lead last time on, but this time around, definitely some different things coming through. Why do you think University of St. Thomas are having such great success in this first few rounds? Uh, they're really controlling the Saints, okay? that That's like kind of just generally what they're doing, right? They have the Cypher and the Sova, which gives them so much more information that they can hold on to, that they can control with. The Saints are having a really hard time pushing through that. On top of that, St. Thomas is just good at clicking on heads and getting people killed. Um, so once you're facing both a wall of intelligence and lead, it's really hard to get through that, right? So the Saints need to try and find a way to just kind of fake out that information and say, okay, yeah, we're going here, no, we're going there, no, we're going over here, and just kind of play with their heads and play with those spots where, I'm going to use league terms here, but where the vision is, right? That Cypher holds down those spots so cleanly that they need to play around that, that they need to play around the traps, they need to play around information that they know that their opponent has or that they don't know that their opponent has. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I think that's very, very well said. We have to see what the Saints want to do off of this timeout. They're going to have an Ares here from Chillin. A Bulldog from Caillou. So they are going to force up a buy here. But a couple weaker weapons. Fair just going to dash in here. It would not be to find a pick. It's a great start for University of St. Thomas. That was a very, very bold play coming out from the Saints on the save round. They decide to force up with the knives. But a great read from University of St. Thomas. They sent three members over to this A side. And they defend that one pretty flawlessly. Yep, the knives come out usually you kind of scoot, but uh, they got like, they got flashed while the knives are coming out, but the first knife missed and then the flash finished or I'm not sure, either the flash finished or it was just a random spray towards the jet that just killed them. Because the jet didn't have the time to just throw the second knife. I think it it might have just been a lucky spray into randomness that dropped the kill, but here, that was not luck, that was skill as, uh... Clowney going to take out that first one with the Sheriff, gonna get killed back, unfortunately, as here, Caillou gonna take out Cornelius, uh, making sure that that fight doesn't happen. It's here, the Saints really grouped up, it is a 3v3, so, so, they, so they are pretty safe here, they're landed. on the defense, so... Okay, well. Oh, what a shot. Kaiu's gonna find that opening pick. Pops the ultimate Saints coming back into this round. 2v3, 2v2 now as Kaiu goes down. Win that ultimate is knocked down. Inksing goes down as well. Will the trade come out? No, it won't. Chillin will die as well. Saints had the opportunity, had a sliver of hope there in the 3v2, but just could not find the shots as University of St. Thomas take another round home. Well, I don't know what I would like to see in this game. An agent with see-through walls. So it's like, it's a wall, you know your opponent is there, but you can't hit them, right? And it, it, it's just, you just place that wall. It's like an invisible wall, like a barrier block in Minecraft. You know, you just place that there and it's like, okay, well now we have a wall. You can't shoot us through it. You know where we are, you know exactly when we're gonna peek, but you can't shoot. <laughs> I think they'd just be goofy. Oh, an op purchase coming out here on the side of the Saints. Gonna be interesting to see how that one plays out as Kai, you're gonna be instantly removed from the game. That jet is so fast. As here, the Saint uh, Saint Thomas going to try and get through to a point. Gonna try and play around that information that they have. Cipher Caution holding down here. mid. The Saints seem to know that a point is gonna be the target of Saint Thomas's aggression. As here. Oh, absolutely beautiful cover fire. The op gonna shoot, not gonna find anybody though. Yeah, no kills from the op there. I think Saints are gonna full on save here. 3v5, they know they can't come back into this one. University of St. Thomas spike. absolutely steamrolling on this attack and Saints just cannot find an answer. Early pick, a second one and the round is instantly over. No contest, so. Definitely University of St. Thomas, even after that Saints timeout, staying locked in and showing us that they came here to play. Even after such a strong map from the Saints in the first one, they're going to be down 6-2 in this first half, and they're not looking too good economy-wise either. Yeah, no, so here we can just see the Saints holding down that angle, Fair with the op. Going to say, you guys are not coming through. Okay, well, never mind. So now, Fair on scopes. Um... But before, yeah, just holding down that angle, just saying, okay, you guys are not killing more of us. We've had enough damage for now. Um, and going to save here. Alrighty, so Saints, not looking too... Oh! Gonna do a little bit of damage to the economy. Uh, we might as well. <laughs> Fair finding the pick with the op. Uh, hopefully Fair can do a little bit more damage with that op before it is lost or given to the opponent in a death. I really want to see more of the op. The op is expensive, so we don't get to see a lot of it. But when we do, right it's here. nice. Um, so hopefully we can see Fair holding those long angles, just putting more pressure on St. Thomas. Because right now St. Thomas, I, they got the advantage just by a little bit. So uh, Sobadark here going to come out and try and get some information. I don't find too get much, out of my way. Ooh. Knives are used by the jet. University of St. Thomas going to push in. The jet's going to actually have that spike. We're going to drone over here. No members from the Saints up mid, but it looks like University of St. Thomas going to force it main anyway. Silva is sitting there with the drone, does find a tag, has that ultimate ready. They try and push through their chill and can get a lot of damage done. 
Glyph just going to be watching this flank. Saints have three members on this B side, two on A side. University of St. Thomas finally going to slow down a little bit. And Saints it looks like they kind of have a foot, one foot in the round now. Not losing any members relatively early on. They knows can look to push through here with this jet. Has the knives. Needs a flash or two to walk through here. But the KO knife cancels out the ultimate. They're not pushing through just yet. Chilling in a very dangerous spot here. Has to just fight back. No real running away. But now the rotate comes through. Are there going to be any picks found here? Yes. Truth finds one but does go down. The Cypher's dead. Fair oh. takes down Glyph with that operator. Now with two kills to one on the round. Caillou in such a great position. He's not going to find one. Finds one finally does get taken down still it's very good for the side of the saints jawi will dodge the hop shot fair will pull out the pistol but in a 3-1 scenario nice knife there from they know takes down fair the plant won't be going down just yet 15 seconds left saints have a lot of time to work with chillin does pick peak for a second but does not go down 10 seconds and counting they knows knows he needs to get the spike down five seconds and saints i think are gonna be able to take this one instinct should go around the corner here and peak this is plant will go down chillin and instinct find the last kill and finally Saints take a round here off University of St. Thomas, make it 3-6. Yeah, the uh, the timer was the downfall of St. Thomas for that round. Saints played very well around it. The op still in the Saints' hands, surprisingly, um, which is really good, honestly. I like that. Saints here kind of going shopping, picking up the probably the Vandals or whatever the guy he wants, uh, and then finishing up with that defuse. And uh, now we can kind of see what is going to happen. Alrighty, up, oh, still in the hands of the Saints. Vandals full buy for the side of St. Thomas. And we are probably going to see a full buy for the Saints 2 0. Oh, unless Truth is sticking to the classic. Yeah, it Truth. Would be the second time. No, this time okay. is not the time to do it. The Phantom will be bought. Saints, if they can string a few rounds here, make this half a 6 6, I think. You know, won't be a victory overall, but a moral victory and momentum would be a big part of that. So they can win a few rounds here, string them together, would be a great way to go into the half. Looks like a default coming out from University of St. Thomas. They are going to walk up mid pretty deep, but the spike is in nobody's hands. So after just running through the Saints for a few rounds, they're going to choose to take things low. And maybe that's exactly what the Saints need to get themselves back into this one. Yep, here they seem to be trying to put some pressure onto that A point. Maybe trying to lead the Saints towards it. Maybe not. We're not sure just yet. Uh, the Sova holding down the F B point with the KJ. A held down by both Jet, Omen, and KO. Going to be a lot of pressure. And here I think they can kind of tell, okay, yeah, B point has a lot less people. Let's hit a, a lot. One less person. I mean, it, it's a lot of pressure when there's only five people, you know? Um, so, yeah, here everybody. Spike makes its way. The Sova drone comes out here they're trying to get as much information as they can with it the dart did end up hitting wow i am surprised I'm not like it is. Anyways. Here. oh we have the sofa home it's going to come out laser beam from hell comes out one two going to hit spike down b a lot of people going down here chewy going to go getting a kill there with the op gonna take out chewy and Chilling gonna take out Glyph here. Saints will win that with three Saints living. Yeah, good job there by the Saints. A great defense. They used the Killjoy ultimate to keep them away, and it did work perfectly fair with the op coming in a bit late, but finds the kills needed to take the round. And that was a big round for the Saints. If they can take this one, it would be University of St. Thomas on a bit of a save, I believe. So, this round's going to be crucial to and the outcome of the game. And the op's game. still there. It is still there, of course. <laughs> he didn't die fair, so he keeps the operator. And uh, that's a very, very good sign for the Saints. It looks like another default push. The fact the University of St. Thomas really slowed down with their aggression, I'm not too sure why. They were getting good picks when they were peaking the angles very quickly but now that since they've opted for this default type of play saints kind of seem to have their number so kind of surprised by this play from them but maybe they have a good one planned up here yep and as we can see here the shot going down going to hopefully find some information but didn't find anything as here we're looking is sober drone gonna try and gather some intel gonna get shot out though not gonna find anything here uh, St. Thomas mostly running down mid. They're going to throw out their own Sova drone, going to try and gather some intel. 
but again, I don't think they finally get anything. KO gonna find some presences, but are they gonna act much on it? I don't think so. Something else getting shot out there, I couldn't quite see. As here, they're really playing around mid here. They're just, they're, they're, they're putting the pressure there. Okay, now they choose, okay, you know what? Let's engage A, moving around, getting those rotates in. Boy, getting the kill onto Caillou. The op goes off, but doesn't find any skulls. Again, what? oh, the shorty! The shotgun, the bang, bang, the double barrel sawed off. Gonna find the kill, and we still have the op. Yeah, we still have the operator and the 3v4 scenario, though it's gonna be pretty hard to push into this one. Also, University of St. Thomas, that flank was beautiful from their omen. And let's see if the Saints decide to go quickly here. There is it, slowed out, slowed and can't get out. On the flip side, Fair does find a pick as Truth and Fair both have Vandals in hand. Can Fair find anything? No, gets taken down. Just a couple, too many members from St. Thomas here. Chewie will find truth, take the round. University of St. Thomas go up 7-4 and are going to look to finish this half strong. Alrighty, let's see how this one plays out. So the up is no longer in play. I cry, but hey, I mean, it couldn't last forever. This is why we can't have nice things. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We kept the up for way longer than I expected, so this is absolutely beautiful. Here, Fair going to be running on a uh, on a budget uh, with 150 in the bank. Not gonna be uh, able to do much. We have a full buy on the side of St. Thomas though, and the knives already come out. Maybe that's why we didn't want to buy anything. Ooh, finds two. Not gonna be able to find three though. Unfortunately, the headshot going to come through. Cornelius here. I'm gonna try and go for that peek, but he is peeking a shotgun and oh. boom! Oh, we find some bad. Nice trade from Angsting. Three kills from Zhaoi, but Saints stringing some interesting plays here with the knives and the judge. Get a couple kills. I think they knows has no idea that Angsting's in this corner. Nice round for the Saints to finish off the half. They make it 5 of 7, but now they are gonna be on the offensive. Let's see if they're able to find the same success St. Thomas did early on. Yep, and speaking of 5-7, I, oh, never mind, that's CS. Uh, I was gonna say, they're buying a bunch of 5-7s, but that's, these ones are called ghosts. Uh, <laughs> alrighty, so we've got a lot of ghosts being picked up here, uh, or classics, you know, nothing fancy, the usual. Alright, so, what are the odds that the Saints win this pistol round? I mean, based on... Recent uh, statistics 100 because they won the second pistol of the first game um, But it's a 50 50 at this exact time. That is true. So let's see how they play this one out The economy is uh, is depending on this So let's hope they can fill their wallets with some credits already here instinct holding that angle Knows what's going on. So Patron gonna come out, try and find some information. Instinct gonna find one. How are we gonna find his counterpart? Chillin' gonna find the counterpart for him. Recalling my boss. Saints, he is having a good time right now. Nice shot from Glip though, makes it a three on three. The plant is down, so Saints have a lot of time to work with. University of St. Thomas have to step on the gas pedal. About 30 seconds left to make something happen. Saints have a couple members on site that Thor's gonna get shot out, so they know there's gonna be at least one person here, but with the pistol, it takes so long to get that one down, and two are gonna be coming in from Heaven. Caillou has a flash ready, it does come out, takes out the net, Fair finds one up top. That's such a huge pick. Now we can sit here, watch the peak here, finds it, finds the third, nice shots there from Fair. A clean pistol round from the Saints, and they take the much needed first round of the half. Yeah, so those shots are clean. You know, so, for round two, a pistol round, the Saints are two for two. Yeah. Round one, they're they're zero for two, but like, round two, they're two for two. So, it's because, okay, the Saints need to warm up. That's that's why they that's lose exactly the first pistol it. round. And then the second pistol round, it's like, all right, we're in the groove of things, we're gonna win it. All right, let's see if we can keep it for the rest of the season that way. I mean, all the Saints have seven <laughs> kills. Fair has 15, so, Having a great game Wait, here on what the is jet, up with but that? the rest of the team staying pretty balanced. Seven kills is pretty good. So 
Everyone's on the right page. Everyone's making big plays. Jali has to be careful around this corner. Only has the shorty force to back up so far. It's going to be hard to get any value with that shotgun. But it looks like Fair is going to push right into it. They know the Omen is in this corner. They're able to find Glyph, though, with the first pick of the round. They do have those weapons, so they can just walk in freely. Find whatever kills they want. Kai finds a couple. The plants goes down. They know does find a big shot onto Truth. Every kill for University of St. Thomas is good, but it's only Jali. 14 HP, a shorty, and many dreams that are going to most likely be shattered here as Saints will happily wait as Jawi is forced to push into the site and uh, with the clock ticking down it's going to be a desperation play here from Jawi checks the corner oh. gets taken out by Caillou it's tied up at 7 apiece and Saints now going to look to go for the bonus yep Saints only lost one player that round so that means that all their money can go into buying some better weapons or just you know what keeping that money I mean credits are credits you, you gotta keep them you know you gotta save them gotta invest I mean you can't really invest in this game but well I mean you can invest in better gear, I guess. Um, oh, but here, nice Truth going to be opting for... What? Wait, that's not a gun, that's a knife. You can't buy knives. Well, I mean, you can, but just skins. Wait, so what is Truth? Ah, okay, a sheriff. Yeah, a lot uh, a lot better than uh, than a knife, most definitely. I would, uh, I would not try and melee my opponents. Not in a gun game, at least. Uh, alrighty, here, mid-courtyard seems to be getting pushed through. Jet holding down that angle. Smoke comes up though. Can't see anything. Oh, great spot from Glyph. Yes, that is. Now Glyph just needs to trigger this one. Finds a couple. Ooh, beautiful. All right, now let's see if we can find some more from Caillou. Oh, nice nade. Put him as a hit up there. Truth gonna find a third. Kai getting a bit impatient. I don't think he knows one. There's a one around to the right behind him. He has no idea. They know who oh. gets shot in the, from the top ropes. Truth finding some nice shots there with that sheriff. And now Saints gonna have that B site. They pick up some weapons in the process. And if they get this bonus, they'll put themselves in an amazing spot to take this map. Caillou is about to get his head blown off and his team is just there. Nah, I got your six, man. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. One oh. remaining. That's when you have too much trigger discipline. Sometimes you just gotta take the shot, as here Cornelius going to take out Instinct, making this a 2v1 on the side of the Saints. Let's see if they can play this out properly. Maybe there's an angle to win this. KJ turret always going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but here, ooh. Ooh, maybe, maybe it's a not. Save. No, yeah, it's a safe. It's a safe. All right, uh, Saints are going to win this round. Cornelius is going to opt to save it. They're a weapon going to save it for the next round. It's always nice to have. There it goes, attackers have won. Now let's take a look at uh, that economy now that the save comes through. Well, lo and behold, the Saints are going for a full buy here. Uh, pretty much all Vandals, except for that one that isn't, but everybody's full armor. Meanwhile, University of St. Thomas going to have to offer a safe round, some eco guns coming out here, mostly sheriffs, just to click on some heads. Um, and the Guardian, along with one Vandal. One Vandal does come out, but note, they don't have any armor. It's, it's, they're, they're, they're very squishy right now. They're looking like a, a Senna in the early game, if I can make, uh illusions to uh, League of Legends here. It's here. So, uh, gonna send out the drone. Not gonna find anything. Truth does it take the thing though. Yeah, and the pick comes out from Ingston onto the head of Chloe. It's a wide open B site. Saints have those numbers, have the guns. Glyph gonna find one. Nice TP there from Ingston. Finds the trade. It's all up to the uh, that luck here in the 1v4. Cornelius saved that Vandal from last time. Let's see if he can put it to good use here. Swings come out. Caillou finds the headshot immediately. Saints go up 9-7. Now University of St. Thomas are going to be able to afford a full buy here. But if Saints take this one, this game is going to be very close over. They knows, knows that's the case. Is going to be buying that operator. Yep, the up coming out. Hopefully we can get some body shots that are going to get some one taps. Because uh, we all love getting those one taps, you know? One taps are just, I mean, you live for one taps. Whenever you tap someone in the body and they just explode and disappear, it's always nice because now you don't have to worry about them. Alrighty, Vandals, full buy on the side of the Saints. That up coming out for St. Thomas. Other than that, uh, bleh, than that full Vandals. 
let's see how they play this one out. Here, all aggression on the B point. Just that omen going to hold... Oh, no, wait. The omen and the jet going to hold off the A point. Uh, maybe try and trip them up? We don't know. Let's see how this one plays out. Yeah, Saints, I think, no. There's an operator somewhere. Ooh. They do not want to challenge <gasps> the knows who is such a good angle here. The smoke does come through. But the knows is getting a bit impatient. Looks for the shot. It was a good attempt. Thinks on the flip side. Finds pick onto Xiaobi, and he gets taken down 60 HP. Cornelius also on 33 HP. The health parts are dropping for the side of University of St. Thomas. The Saints look like they're rotating over to a Killjoy. It is on the B side. It's going to be a 1v1 between the Killjoy and the Cypher. And whoever picks that one up, could lead their team to victory, but it looks like Chillin is on the rotate. They might move over towards this B side. Still three members from the side of University of Thomas on this A side, so if Saints can move quickly, they can get a big advantage on this side and post plant. They've looked so strong all game. It looks like the rest of the members are coming in here. Comes the push. Chillin gonna throw out that dart. I don't know if it's gonna spot out that Cypher who's hidden left. in the back of the side. KO knife comes out. Here comes the the drone, the ult from KO as well. The solo ultimate. From from Glyph, looking to find something, doesn't find anything, and now the Saints gonna take full control of this side. Two clue, he does find a couple, however, and they didn't check the back of the side. They find the trade. The rest should come through on Caillou. Yes, there it is. No, Ixton's gonna be taken down in the midst of that progress. Now it's a 1v3 scenario. Truth finds one, Chillin finds a second. Saints have a 2v1, Cornelius 33 HP. One bullet will take him down, as it's gonna be a very hard clutch here for Deadlock to get. 30 seconds and ticking. We'll look for the swing on to Chillin. Chillin just needs one bullet to take him down. Will not take the challenge. Play it passive. You have a 2v1 as soon as Cornelius walks through here. Should get swung by a couple members. Truth gets the third of the round for himself. Takes a 10-7 lead for the Saints. And now they put themselves in a prime position to take this match. Yeah, the, uh, the double swing always sucks. When you get double swung, it's like, well, I can do my best, but I got two guns shooting at me. I only have one. I, I'm only one person. What do you want me to do? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you pop off, but hey, it is what it is. All right, the Saints looking at a full buy of Vandals and Armor. And St. Thomas going for the budget blaster. Good old Sheriff. Good old Reliable. Good old Head Tapper. Let's see how this one plays out for St. Thomas on that budget. Yeah, it's going to be hard for them to get anything done this round. Saints should play a relatively passive, uh, knowing that St. Thomas can't really uh, afford anything crazy. But looks like they're going to go pretty quickly onto this A site. A lot of utility used. I don't know if they've spotted out that the Omen is sitting in this corner. But Fair walked all the way up. Does get spotted, but still moving so, so strong. Forces everyone back. As a lot of damage comes through, but Chillin finds a couple. Caillou takes a bit of damage. So does the soul, but they're gonna get this plant down though. And five versus three post plant. This should be hard to lose for the Saints. Yep, but speaking of truth here, going to, uh, been taken out by Chloe. 4v5, 4v3, never mind, I can't read. 4v3 gonna make things a little bit difficult here for St. Thomas, but right here. Saints could mess it up too. So let's see how they play that one out as here instincts are going to take out uh, Cor That's Cornelius uh, Making it a 4v2 here even if the Saints go one for one It is a thing that they would be willing to take Jet going to fly up gonna get the wall bang gonna take one go one for one and then here comes the vandal on uh, Wielded by instinct going to take out that last cypher bomb goes off and time to buy some new guns. Speaking of buying new guns, the op is purchased on that uh, jet. Going to make a big difference here, but only light armor. So we're going to see how that plays out. Uh, full, Pretty much full buy, except for the judge here. Uh, being picked up by fair. May, might want to get up to some CQC. Probably going to uh, use the knives, though. That is true. Yeah, the knives. Good call, good call, since they are up. Uh, let's see how that one plays out. out yeah, let's see if the knives are instantly going to be popped out. Let's see how quickly the Saints want to attack this A side. It is only the Omen on the side, but there are a couple Cypher traps here as the Cypher rotates over to help him out. Still going to be a 5 on 2. Let's see how quickly the Saints decide to get into here. Jet in the midst of the point. Some shots going from Xiaoyi. Finds the headshot through the smoke. 
Lots of all that intel they have there, though. Look to find something on the trade side. Truth takes out Jawi. Fair puts themselves in a great position here. Sovo does come out. The Kildra comes out for the attack as well. Fair just going to walk straight through this one. Finds the knives onto one. Can't find it on second. Looks for the third. Finds it there. Does get taken down. But the Saints now with 3v1. Attacker Kildra going to go off. Will not catch Cornelius. But the spike is down. And they are pushing this one quickly. Still, Cornelius gets out of trouble. But it's going to be a long flank needed if he wants to make his way all around. I don't think a save is here. Saints do not want to allow the save to come through. They're going to look to push pretty aggressively, but now they remember that they're going to be on match point if they win this next round. So they decide to sit back. They're going to take their win as Truth finds the swing on 10 HP, finds the headshot, a huge kill. Now University of Storm is facing match point. I don't think they're going to have too much gold. They will not afford a fall by. So Saints on match point with the money should be looking to take it home here. Yeah, if you've got the cash and match point, it is not looking good for your opponent to say the least here. They are scrapping up every single penny that they can find. They're looking, you know, between the 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 the, the, the couch cushions, they're looking under their beds, they're they're taking out some teeth maybe, asking the tooth fairy for a loan. Uh, but uh, we don't know how this one's going to play out. So, let's see what they can make happen on their tight budget. It's going to be hard to find anything. You can see how passively the side of University of St. Thomas are playing. They don't want to take any early frags as they're showing some signs of fear. But Saints walking through these smokes, going to take their time and look to regroup. I don't think they want to blindly push through that one. A lot of utility from University of St. Thomas is on this B side. So Saints have to be careful pushing through this one. Can't get too cocky even though they are on match point. Truth going to look to find the wall bank won't find too much with that one. Saints have a minute to go. Yeah, that uh, that LMG, do it's terrifying. It's not that bad, like all things considered, right? It's an LMG, it's heavy, it, it, like it, it, the ergonomics aren't great. But when you see that thing spraying through a wall, and you see those tracers start coming closer and closer towards you, it's a little terrifying, you know? You don't, you don't really like that. And it's here, uh, gonna find a few trades here, one for one, one for one, and now it's a 3v3, make that a 2v3 for the Saints. The Saints not looking ideal, the Jet Knives are out. Might make uh, the University of St. Thomas's life a little bit easier, but here it's KO and a KJ. So a lot of crowd control still available uh, to play with. Ooh, KJ alt finds three. Absolutely beautiful that. there. Yeah. The KO drone was really good. Got the knives out, but gives them extra time. Caillou finds one on the drop. The Jet finds the trade. Does get taken out. One-on-one -on -one situation. Truth. Can he find the clutch? The tap comes through. I think he knows. It's not getting defused. Gets the oh. swing with the Odin and Saints. Are able to take it home. Nice cluster from Truth in the 1v2 scenario as the Saints take the series 2-0. Uh, pretty competitive second map, but a great series from both teams. Saints start their season with a win. I mean, that was absolutely beautiful by the Saints. Uh, we kind of saw it during the uh, the match. It was, so round one, first, first, first match, feeling each other out, saying, okay, are you good? Well, what's your play style? What's my play style? How can I adapt mine to yours? Yada, yada, yada. We start that first four rounds. Okay, we have a good feel. Saints instantly adapt, say, all right, we're moving up. We're getting you guys. Get a few rounds on them. Then St. Thomas says, okay, you know what? We kind of know how you play. We're going to adapt to that. We're going to play around you. We're going to play around your strategies. And then they start playing around that. And then they start winning a few rounds. And then the Saints come up again right after that switch. And they're saying, okay, well, now it's my turn to adapt to your adaptation. And now I'm doing really well. And then Saints win that one. Then go on to the next map. This is Ascent. Saints, really used to this one. They start off. And they're not like they're lacking steam, right? They 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 lose pistol round, they lose the uh, eco round after that, pretty normal stuff. But even after that, like they kind of they're lacking steam. They're not really moving. They're not getting traction. And then the Saints kind of lock in and they say, "Oh yeah, right. This is the map we practice." And then they just plow straight through. Saint Thomas does take a few, but generally speaking, uninhibited uh, on ascent, just doing really really well. 
terrific performance by St. Clair. Yeah, great job by them. They take the 2-0 victory of University of St. Thomas. A very good match to start off the season. Showed some weaknesses, showed some strength, but in the end came out on top. So a great series for them to start off. Hopefully we can see a lot more of them. But with that being said, that's it for us today. I've been your host, Theo, known as the Holy Juan, and I got Gable with me. Thanks for joining me on the desk. we got to say thank no you problem. to all, uh, all our sponsors. We have Alienware, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and St. Clair Alumni Association. Thank you to everyone. Everyone in the back who made this stream happen. The we have best. Matthias back there. <laughs> Got Danners running around everywhere. So thank you to everyone back there today. Thank you for joining us today. I think we're going to be back all on Monday because we don't have streams for the next few days. So yes, thank you for right. watching. We'll be seeing you soon. And have a good night.